Peace and light, beautiful beings. It is your girl, Tyra, and I am back with another video. Today, we just pretty much going to be going over a freestyle henna um, design. I don't know what you would call this actual design because it is a freestyle. It's something, I guess it would be like Palestinian type, Arabic type, African design. It's like all of them mixed in one. I guess you would call this um, type of style just like me showing you guys how I do henna, not necessarily how to do henna because there's definitely um, a difference. You'll go to like different um, classes on, um, you know, how to learn how to do henna, but the actual artist will teach you how they do henna, but not necessarily show you how to do henna. I hope they make sense. All right, so at the top of this design, I just decided to do um, like a V-shaped lines. And then we started off with swirls and humps. And then I put in um, the African spin on it just by adding like where the swirling the humps is, is by uh, putting, putting petals on there to make like a half a flower. This design, I guess, yeah, this design you would consider, I guess you would consider this or I consider this like full hand. So it'll start at like at the wrist and go down. So we different, this is the part where um, I will complete her wrist. I might go up a little bit more and then we'll just make sure the uh, design go all the way down. Now, me personally, some henna artists don't feel comfortable doing it this way, but I like to start from the top to the bottom instead of going from the bottom to the top because I'll just be too afraid that I'm gonna hit my hand on the design. So if I start at the top and then work my way down, it's just better. That's the way I teach in the classes for um, new henna artists that's just starting off. But once you get the hang of it, you'll definitely like, um, find out which way is, you know, best comfortable for you. All right, I did this zoom in action so you guys can see how I fill in my flowers. There's different ways to fill in flowers, but um, this is the, that's the way I usually like to fill in my flowers from the top going down to the bottom. Um, and I decided not to fill in the flowers all the way because you'll see why. I'll, I'll explain to you when I get to the next flower within this design. And just a tip for people that's um, interested in starting to do henna, it's always good to like, you know, start your lines off a small, um, because if your lines don't come out straight, you can always make them thicker to straighten them out. So basically, just like you see me here making this line, if I didn't like the way the line um, was coming out or if the line wasn't coming out straight, I definitely go back and make it straight by um, making the line thicker. But um, in this case, I, I really like I really wanted to make the line thicker. So I just went over it again and then I added some dots because I wanted to make it look like it was an actual jewel that was coming on her wrist. Yeah. And shout out to all my clients that lets me record when I do um, the henna designs on them because they be they i don't know i just love my clients i just want to, like everybody that support who watch videos who like the videos who comment on my videos who come and that's in um the charlotte area and book to come and get their henna i just want to give a big shout out to you guys thank you thank you thank you so much um even the ones that like leave reviews um just to say how much they love their henna or you know what type of customer service that they get I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm almost getting emotional, but yeah, I just wanted to shout y'all out. And my client that I'm actually doing this on, B. Howard, if you watch my videos, you might not, but if you do, sweetheart, thank you so much for leaving that review. Thank you again for coming. And don't forget to bring baby girl next time you come to your appointment.
Okay, and this part, I just wanted to add like um, leaves and feathers on this. Um, if you can see like by the wrist, I was just into like the curve and the swirls with the feathers going up. So yeah, I wanted to incorporate that within the whole design and also the a V shape within the design. Um, like I said, it's like an Arabic type design, I guess you would say um here but i just really wanted a lot of swirls within it within this design i could have kept the line straight or curved like the way i'm doing it right now i could have kept it that way but i just wanted to add like the swirls um like i add swirls at the top of the wrist It almost looked like it's fire coming up, the actual design that's within the, uh, the design. Like it's, um, yeah, it looks like fire flames that's coming up on the design. And I really like that. It kind of coincides with the swirls that I have up by her wrist. So just to, um, you know, kind of if you're into doing this, whatever you incorporate, whatever design you incorporate within the top, try to incorporate it within the middle or at the bottom of the actual design so the design can be unison. Now again, I'm teaching y'all how I like to do henna as far as the, the freestyle, but if you want to learn how to actually do henna and you learn your own way of doing henna or um, creating, I guess, uh, creating a way of the way that you feel comfortable to learn how to do henna or the way you feel comfortable on how you want to make your designs to be to make your quote unquote signature look y'all can always go to cannot live without art.com and there's definitely a um a course that you can sign up for it's all online you can do it at your own leisure um i can tell you it probably if you do like one sit down within this class you will probably be doing it for a good eight to ten hours maybe a little bit longer but it's really detailed it's like literally me showing you how to make cones you don't have to worry about like how you're going to get your cones to start practicing i'm going to show you how to make your own practice book how to make your own cones um, you also get like vendors list information on to where you can find like the, um, the best quality henna and the best quality fruit gel and you get the most bang for your buck. Um, yeah, like vendors list. So you'll have all of that. So when you do start to build your clientele, you'll have everything that you need. You won't have to go back. Even if you do, um, decide to go back to the course and kind of refresh, you'll have that leisure to do that also. It's not like one-on-one, -on -one. everything could be done online. All right, y'all, so this is the other flower that I incorporated into this design. You see how I have the flower at the top? I definitely needed a flower somewhere else on this design just to coincide. And um, I zoomed in so you guys can see that I actually, the swirls that I've had on her wrist, I incorporated those in the bottom well the middle of the actual design so again you want to make sure your designs coincide with what you have at the top and then you can add your own little spin to it like here I'm adding like the the teardrops if you will or like the um, drip is like what I like to call it because you drippy after getting your henna done <laughs> And shout out to the girlies that, um, to the sisters that come and get their henna done and they got their nails done. Bro, when I tell you, I swear, I'll be wanting to like, I want to learn how to do nails. I really do. So they can come and get like nails and henna, but I don't know. I don't know if I have the, the time, the money and the patience to do nails. You know what I mean? Like I got this henna thing on, on like on lock. Like this, this is my judge. This is what I do. It brings me peace. But I feel like nails just wouldn't bring me peace. But shout out to the pretty girls that come. I already have their nails done.
All right, so I put the drip on both sides on the index finger, going down the index finger, and also on the ring finger. Yes, I call it drip because that's what it looks like. Um, and then I add the swirls and um, the swirls that I have on the wrist. I went ahead and put that on um, the other side. But here, I just wanted to add right there by her thumb, right above her thumb. I wanted to add like um, it's just a little trick. I call it the the I don't know what it's called. I made a name up for it. It's a captain hook. That's what I call it. The captain hook. I went ahead, got, I went, I put it on both sides, but you can't see the other side, unfortunately. But I went ahead and put the captain hook on her ring finger, too. And then the swirls that's incorporated within the middle of her hand and her wrist, I added those on her fingers, too. And because I love the drip so much, I had to add more drip within her middle finger. Um, yeah, because it was just, I don't know what it is about that drip. It just makes the, the henna pop. I don't know what it is about it. Every time that I do it and I freestyle, my henna, I always got to have the drip or some jewels. It's just, it just makes the design look so much better. To me, it does. It's just like one of my signature um, things I like to do within it, when it comes to my design. And honestly, I'm giving y'all the sauce because I really don't like to tell y'all, tell people what my signature is. I kind of like, you could kind of figure out that I did it by, you know, like the type of designs that I do. But yeah, the drip is definitely one of my signatures. Again, you guys, if you do want full detail on how to do henna, okay, you can always visit cannotlivewithoutart.com and sign up for the henna class. It is online, so you do not have to be in my city to do it. You can do it in the comfort of your home. And here is the complete design. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in, and I will see y'all in the next video.